Welcome everyone. Thanks for tuning into my channel, Eve the Empress Oracle. Today we're going to go ahead and do a love reading. Okay, we have pile one, two, and three. You pick whichever pile you are most drawn to and the timestamp will be in the description box below. Okay, this can be for singles or couples. Just take the parts of the messages that resonate with you, apply it how it fits in your life, and leave the parts that don't. If you would like a personal reading to get more in depth, and personalized pertaining specifically to you, your situation, and any questions you have, you can contact me to schedule that. My email's in the description box below as well. All right, if you do resonate with this message, I ask that you do drop me a like, leave me a comment, let me know how things are playing out, okay? Subscribe if you have not already done so, and share my content and channel with family and friends because there may be messages here for them as well. All right, so we're going to go ahead and jump into the message. For those of you who chose POW 1, this is your message. Okay, we're going to start with the Island Time Wellness Oracle. Mm. The Cheater Story. Playing the Field. And Destructive Habits. All right, so right off the bat, um, you may not be in an ideal situation right now. There, you may have been dealing with some stuff um, that's been a little difficult. We have the cheater story here. Cheated on, now we're in the past. Trust issues triggered, heal past hurts, and change your future. So someone may have done you wrong in the past. Someone may have cheated on you um or in the past there's trust issues and remember with my messages it can always be reversed so this can be you you could be the one who has been cheated on or you ha could have been the one doing the cheating okay so just take it how it applies because energies can always be reversed so remember that all right so if i'm saying you and it's your person you know just take it how it how it resonates all right so yeah like i said heal the past heal hurts change your future so you don't want to continue going down this same path um you want better then playing the field still meeting dating other people seeing each other being a player games being played yeah so and then with the destructive habits, so you yourself could have been the one cheating with, with these other cards following, okay? Because, because of this, it's like maybe now you're not with that certain person that you had on your mind anymore because of some things that you've done. And now you're not wanting to commit because you have trust issues. Maybe you are having a, a difficult time trusting yourself okay and i don't i'm not saying this with judgment it's just a reading okay i can't see you on the other side of the screen there um but then it says a uh, playing you know games being played seeing each other so now you can just be keeping your options open because maybe now you know you may not be ready to commit or want to commit and you don't want to hurt anyone anymore that but then you have destructive habits here so you do need to realize that you know, there are reasons why we do the things that we do. Um, and that could have been a destructive habit of yours. Because maybe the person you were with that you did cheat on, maybe they didn't deserve it. Maybe, you know, it was just something that you did and maybe now you regret it. You know, but you're making the best out of the situation by keeping your options open. Because we have addictions, gambling, alcohol, sex, negativity, a pacting relationship so whatever addictions or destructive habits you have which in this place in this reading it turns out we're going more with the not being honest or falling into temptation easily um not being monogamous not being able to stay committed to stay loyal and faithful all right toxic thinking behavior May, some people have the thought of oh i'm gonna do it to them before they can do it to me so that if they do this to me it doesn't hurt or um, i i got back at them or whatever the case is so even that that thought process that thinking is bad it can it's setting you up for failure right there 
All right, but let's go ahead and get some more cards. The romance angels here, you have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Yes, that's that goes hand in hand with the playing the field card here. You're not committing to anybody right now. You're being open. Um, and if this was, if you were not the cheater, if you were the one that was cheated on, maybe that's why now you're keeping your options open and you're not wanting to commit to someone because you don't want to give yourself to someone. You know, you don't want to get hurt again, but that can still turn into a destructive habit because yes, that person may have hurt you. Yes, that person did this awful thing to you that you didn't deserve. However, make sure that you're not turning into that person now as well and that you're not doing that to others, to good potential partners or that you're not juggling multiple people the same way you didn't like it when it was done to you. All right, so just, just take it how it applies there. But the flirt energy, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Yeah, you're flirting. You're interacting with multiple people. You're entertaining um, multiple people here, okay? Then the, um, the whispers of love. Demonstrate love. Find out what's important to those you love and act on it. All right, so this is talking about demonstrate love. Show those you love that you care about them. Don't keep trying to just shrug it off and play the cool role and act like you don't care and stuff when deep down you do because that's the sense that I'm getting with this demonstrate love. Um, and you need to find out this person that's in your mind that you do care about that maybe you want to make amends with you want to you know reconcile with you want to fix things with um there's someone that you do love so even though you're juggling multiple people there is one person in particular that you have deep feelings for that you do think that maybe you can commit to this person but maybe because of your history or or history that you have been through you're like you're holding yourself back it's like you don't trust yourself. So it's, it's important to make sure that, you make, that you're make that you making others feel loved, that you're not just using people or, you know, using them as a distraction or, you know, to get over what was done to you or to keep you distracted otherwise because you don't want to deal with the real problems at hand. Because that's what a lot of people do when there's that's that's one of the reasons why people cheat there's multiple reasons but a very common reason why people cheat is because they're unhappy not necessarily with their partner but some type of circumstance in their their life it could be at work they could be stressed out at work something's not going right at work they could be stressed about their finances they could feel boggled down by children you know and then of course the obvious can have issues with your partner but there's out, out external um, influences and these situations can cause that and because this person instead of coming to their partner to either hash it out or talk about the problems or talk about the things that's not working or you know being emotionally vulnerable and talking about what's bothering them instead they turn to just meaningless pleasures to things that may feel good for a very brief moment in time to just get their mind off of the pain or off of the worry, off of the fear. It's just a distraction, but it is a destructive, toxic distraction because then you're causing chaos in your internal world now, not just in the external world with work and finances and stuff. Now you're causing that internally because you know what you're doing even if your partner don't know what you're doing you know and uh a, a quote that i like is you know the the two things you can't outrun in life is karma and yourself you have to look at yourself every day so make sure that you like what you're seeing in that reflection all right now here with the love compass oracle you have optimism and acceptance Get into a place of acceptance and gratitude for all that is in your life. See the situation in a brand new light. Trust your path as it unfolds and let go into the moment. 
Think big and think positive to manifest the love and relationships you desire. So while you are single, okay, make sure that you are really thinking about what it is that you want. If you are a person that cannot commit or had issues committing in the past or staying faithful, staying monogamous in the past, then really think about what is it that you want, you know, in a relationship moving forward. And then if you were the one who was cheated on, you still need to consider that same thing. What is it that you want in a relationship moving forward? What will make you feel safe again to want to commit to somebody? All right. And then just take your time with that you know trust things as it unfolds okay you need to think positive and you need to do positive to bring that positivity in all right you can't um you can't lie and deceive and and do these things that are hurting people and then expect blessings to come in uh, is it, is just the cold hard truth you can't do wrong to others and then expect good to be done to you because the universe will balance things out so it's not going to play out necessarily tit for tat like you cheated on this person so they're going to cheat on you because maybe you they didn't have the opportunity to cheat on you maybe they left you before they had the opportunity to cheat on you or maybe you left because you didn't want to deal with with the um exposure or whatever the case was you know so maybe that that's not how it is going to play out but the universe will somehow repay you for you know the hurt and the agony that you've caused one way or another and it may not be today it may not be tomorrow maybe 10 years from now when you fall in love again and then that person does the same thing to you or it may play out in your finances you know you're you're not um being true and honest you know living a true and honest life so then your finances may take a blow or you may not get that promotion at work or you may just be struggling internally like not be happy with yourself internally you know and again i'm not judging you but i'm just saying you need to get off of this destructive cycle so that you can grow so you can learn from your mistakes nobody in this world is perfect everyone makes mistakes but what makes the difference between you know per se good or bad people is that if you made a mistake if you know you did wrong now and you you're con now you're consciously of aware that what you did was wrong maybe at the time you didn't think that or you wasn't thinking about the consequences what have you but now you are consciously aware of the role you played in that and that what you did was wrong so now what are you doing to make things right what are you doing to justify it? What are you doing to help yourself grow and be a better person and not make those same mistakes, not make the same choices as you did in the past to be a better person than you was yesterday or last week or last month or last year. All right. So this is just a message to encourage you not to tear you down. We're not beating a dead horse here, but this is just a wake up for you you know to really go within you and and change you know some of these habits to be the best you you can be to attract blessings and abundance and the good stuff in your life because all that stuff right now if you continue down this road you're going to continue to repel it like i said not everything's going to work out in your favor i'm not saying your whole life is going to be clouds and rain and you know detriment but you know you can be much happier than you are right now if you change some of these negative habits because that's at a lower vibration all right and for you to get in a, you have to get in alignment with the things that you want and those are at a higher vibration all right so you need to elevate you need to grow you need to learn from your past from your choices and do better moving forward in the future now to wrap this up with my love life oracle deck card you have they love you more than they love themselves okay so 
whoever you did wrong, they may still care about you. They may still love you. Um, and that may be why you have to demonstrate love here. Find out what's important to those you love and act on it. You know, right the wrong, set things right. Um, and it's not always about getting back together. It's just about that closure aspect or like I said, paying the karma, you know, paying it forward, doing right so that you don't, you know, you have neutral, you're in the neutral zone. You know, you're not indebted into anybody. All right. This person does love you, even though despite everything that has happened. And if you were the one that was cheated on, OK, we'll flip it. If you were the one that was cheated on, then even though they cheated on you, they do love you. But they're just going through a lot because everything that I just said is applying to them but then you can apply it to yourself as well because you want to make sure you're not going down that road that they are on because of how you were mistreated in the past you don't want to have to go through the same thing they're going through now just because it was done to you all right you want to be optimistic for your future happy just because one person did you wrong doesn't mean the next person will all right so i know this was a real you know a, a little dark message it wasn't the most pleasant but it is what you needed to hear because that's what came out in the cards so i really hope this helped you i wish you many blessings and i'll see you on the next one for those of you who chose pal two this is your message okay we're gonna start with the island time wellness oracle and you have grass is greener keys on a ring and leveling up grass is greener passing up options too quick to decide take time to know them gratuity changes circumstances then you have keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. So with these cards are kind of going hand in hand. So right now you may be juggling, you may have a lot of options presented to you in love and you're not sure which way to go. It's like you're still on a search. That's what I'm getting. It's like you're on a search for something better um, and maybe you're passing up something really good because it's like you're in search for something more, for something better. But I'm getting that you really don't have a real clear picture of what that better and, you know, that more looks like. So it's like you, you just keep going and going and going and then hoping it'll fall on your lap or hoping you'll know it once you get it. Then you have leveling up here. You deserve the best. Major improvement, doing inner work, dealing with past hurts. Yes, dealing with past hurts. That may be why you're, you know, you could be stringing someone along, all right? You could be unconventional, juggling multiple people, playing with people's emotions, um, passing up good promising options you know you're you're too quick to decide or too quick to cut somebody off you're not really taking the time to get to know someone and that's why it says gratuity changes circumstances once you're grateful and you appreciate what the universe is blessing you with or what the universe is bringing into your life i'm not saying that you need to go marry someone tomorrow or that you know one of these options is your forever person but you need to be open to that idea all right you need to do some inner work and like i said get a clear visual of what does that better and that more that you're in search for ask really ask yourself what do you want in a relationship what do you want in a partner all right if you are in a relationship then and then i'm getting maybe you're not happy you're kind of you know maybe have wandering eyes or now you're 
daydreaming or fantasizing about better about the grass may be greener because you know you're not happy where you're at and you really need to ask yourself well what do i want what do i want what does that look like what does my ideal partner look like what are some things my ideal partner will say you know how will they make me feel how will i know that's my ideal partner how will i feel what will, what makes me happy like all this stuff is inner work and that's what you need to get clear on it may not be clear on how the person physically looks because it's more than the physical like yes you want to be attracted to your partner but you have to dig deeper than that all right um so you really need to think about and do that inner work on what is it that you want because it's showing that you have options maybe options to to leave a current relationship options to stay options to try to make things work or if you're single you have many you know potential partners many people that you're entertaining or people that's interested in you and you're not sure so you need to level up okay you do you do deserve better you do deserve good but do you know what that looks like to you because if you don't then you'll constantly be in a search and get nowhere like you'll you won't get where you want to go if you don't know what the goal is or what the prize is what the end result is what are you working towards it'll be a, a never-ending journey now here with the romance angels you have past life relationship you have known each other before so one of these options or your current partner what have you like i said roles can always be reversed so just take what resonates okay you can be dealing with a karmic relationship or a past life relationship all right for those of you that believe in past lives you and this person or you and your potential mate the person who is you know um going to be fulfill the things that it is that you want maybe you've known them before or maybe that's how that's what will set them apart from all your options because there's just that that ease that you know it just feels familiar even though this person is new all right or that can be why maybe you're stuck in a relationship because you've had a history with this person and there's that karmic tie that karmic bond where you feel like you can't get away all right um and that's why you need to do that inner work as well to heal any karmic debt you know to cut any karmic ties because you want to be with someone by choice not because of karma all right now with the whispers of love we have slow down pause and allow things to unfold all right and then here if you look you see the two people holding each other same thing similar like that so with you it's just slow down like like i say here you're passing up options too quick to decide all right unconventional many options and decisions so just take your time like i said take your time figure out what it is that you want deal with whatever inner stuff you need to deal with improve yourself no one else is going to benefit from you being a better you than yourself you are the ultimate winner of that if you improve yourself and help yourself be the best that you can be yes it can benefit your partner but it's going to benefit you foremost it's going to benefit you so just work on yourself be the best that you can be and figure out what it is that you want see that clearly take your time you don't need to make a decision right away you need to really figure out what it is that you want and which way you want to move if this if you're single take time to know people don't rush into things one night stands and just the physical stuff take your time to really get to know someone deeply because it's the emotional things it's the connection it's not the physical that keeps us connected to somebody or with somebody it's the emotional it's the affectionate it's the 
um, compatibility, you know, all that other stuff that people don't really like to talk about is what creates a long lasting relationship. So take your time, feel things out. Don't be so quick to just, you know, cut people off or to walk away from a situation. Really figure out what it is that you want. All right, now from the Love Compass Oracle, you have new love. This is a new passionate beginning with a soulmate, divine partner or twin flame, past life connection. A new relationship or connection is manifesting. This could be a relationship going to the next level, leveling up, or a reigniting of passion. That's for those of you who are already in a relationship. Maybe you guys are going to, you know, um, re reconcile, reignite, learn and grow together, change together for the better. This may pertain to a friendship turning into love. All right. So, you know, this can be someone that you've met before, someone that you're with, you know, take it how it applies. But that's why you're getting all these warnings about don't be so hasty to make a decision. Don't be so quick to, you know, end things or not try anymore or to give someone a chance. Slow down, pause, allow things to unfold because you could be easily um, rejecting what the universe is trying to bless you with which is new love, however it applies. All right, then to wrap this up here with my Love Life Oracle deck, you have, without you, they would be lost. So, is this your current partner? Are you with somebody right now that they will be lost if you left? Maybe they really love you. And it could just be your own judgment, your own um indecision that could be making you feel unhappy or wanting more and stuff like that and a real good example of that is social media um a lot of people get on social media and they get so obsessed with other people's lives and what they're doing and how people's relationship look all perfect and or in the movies the tv shows you know they think that that's how it's supposed to be in real life and they forget that it's called entertainment for a reason. Okay, a picture. A picture's worth a million words. But remember, it's just a picture. And nowadays, there's Photoshop, there's all this other stuff. So you don't even know if what you're looking at is real. All right, so don't get so caught up and consumed in the modern day social media and this is how things are supposed to be. No, you know, real relationships, they take work. Real relationships, they have problems sometimes, but it's up to you if you're gonna make it or break it. All right, so, you know, they could be lost without you. You could be lost without them. All right, or this person, you know, you've been, um, like I said, it's a past life relationship. You've had a tie with this person before in a previous life, and that's why it felt so familiar, or that's why you feel that tie, like you can't break free or you can't break loose, or you've known this person before. It's just that comfort, you know, you just feel comfortable with them, like you could tell them anything, and that's good. You know, this person is, he is in your life for a reason, so don't be so quick to dismiss it. So I hope this was a message that you needed to hear, group number two. Until next time, many blessings. For those of you who chose group three, this is your message. Okay, we're going to start with the Island Time Wellness cards. And you have the Escape Artist. Someone may be running from a situation. You have Girl Talk. You may be discussing it with those close around you. And you have fake profile. Mm. All right, let's see. So the first card you got here is escape artist. May sabotage and to avoid hurt. Afraid to be loved, looking 
Don't run when it gets real. Then you have girl talk. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Then you have fake profile. Liar, scammer, creeper alert. Do a background check, not genuinely interested, not who you think. So, for some of you, you may be dealing with someone new. You can either be in a new relationship, like you, you know, you just started speaking to somebody, um, or you're looking online, or you know, you just got into a relationship. Either way, this person is new. Whether you're actually in a relationship or just entertaining each other, um, and they may not be. It don't need to. If you guys met online, then that may be confirmation for a few of you that someone either you or them because remember this can always it applies either way it may not be the person that you're dealing with this can be a reflection of you this can be your energy all right so make sure that you're being honest about who you are what you want if you're genuinely interested in someone make sure that you're not lying to people all right but if it's not you then this could be the person you're dealing with someone could be lying to you trying to scam you, not genuinely interested, um, or not really the person who they're portraying to be. It could be something as simple as, they could be putting up a front to act like they're somebody who's real successful in business or they have this killer job. Um, and that may end up being one of the things that you're attracted to with this person. And then you come to find out that it doesn't entail everything that they've told you or you know they don't really do that or it's not as lavish as they you know made it out to be you know so it could be simple or it could be something big you know so only you know your life so take it how it applies but whatever the case is you're feeling unsure about this and so that's why I say it could also be you, the person that's not genuinely interested because you're talking to your friends or your family, whoever your inner circle is, you're having a conversation about this person with somebody else. So whether it's to get advice on what to do or whether you're happy or, you know, want to tell your friends about the new person you're with or you're telling them you know what what to do you're asking for advice or whatever it is you're surrounding yourself with other people you're involving other people in this dynamic in this relationship and then with the escape artist this person may not be all the way in or you may not be all the way in meaning like committed or a hundred percent invested because you are trying to avoid hurt or this person is trying to avoid hurt all right, so that can even be something as going back to what I was saying, it could be something simple. It could be, you know, that this person is pretending like they're ready for a commitment, but they're really not, you know, because they usually escape. They usually run away when times get hard um, because they're they're afraid of being hurt. But they're putting up the front like they're ready to commit and they're ready to give you give you their all and they're not, you know, they're still kind of keeping their options open in case you let them down or in case, um, you know, you are not all you um, portrayed yourself to be. All right, but let's get some other cards here to clarify this. We have the romance angels worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your life, in your love life. So all in all, don't rush into anything. Take your time. Make sure that you're really taking your time to get to know this person, to weed out through all the BS, you know, to be able to weed, to weed out and um, go through all the, all the lies or all the things with a fine tooth comb, you know, go ahead and take your time to really get to know this person. Make sure that what they're telling you is matching their actions or matching, you know, the reality of the situation. Then we have the whispers of love. Spend quality time together. Listen and talk to each other. You both may be doing this. 
you both may not be 100% honest with each other or holding back something or keeping your options open. But if this is what you want, take your time and open up, speak to each other about what it is that you want or why you want to take things slow, why you're not 100% sure about committing right now. You know, what happened, discuss the things that you went through, what happened in the past and why you have your guard up. Communicate. Those are things that you should be talking about anyway if this is someone that you want to spend your time with. All right. And you may be speaking to other people about it, but you're not speaking to the person that you need to about it, which is whoever, you know, your potent this potential person is. Then the love compass oracle, you have self-love. Practicing self-love and self-care will attract more loving people and healthy relationships into your life. Find peace and balance within. Accept the past and all that is with grace. Accept yourself at all levels. This may pertain to an awakening of love for yourself. Okay, make sure that you're being honest with yourself. Okay, foremost. Make sure that you are being honest with yourself because if you're if you're the one putting up a front maybe you maybe you really like this person so it could be even this scenario that you really like this person or this person really likes you and you're trying to pretend that you like all the things that they like or you're into all the things that they're into you know just because you want to have things in common or you're afraid that if if you have these differences then they won't be attracted to you or you know they won't stay and but that's not being honest to yourself and that's not loving yourself because sometimes differences is what brings people together the differences is what makes everyone unique and you can have different interests you know let's say um if someone's into sports and stuff you don't care about sports be honest it doesn't mean that you won't sit there and watch a game with them once in the blue but that's not your thing because then maybe they they're here thinking oh this person is really into sports like i, I am you know maybe our first date should be at a sports game and then how miserable are you going to be or how bored are you going to be so you're setting yourself up for failure right there all right so you want to be honest you know, I try to give practical examples, but it can be an array of different situations. But these are just things so you can understand and apply it. See how it can be applied to your everyday life. Okay, so practice self-love. Make sure that you're being honest with yourself. Um, take your time. Spend time with this person, but genuine quality time to get to learn one another okay so that things can unfold naturally with divine timing so you can see whether this is the person for you or not okay now to wrap this up with my love life oracle deck you have this relationship is beyond repair let it go so that's for a few of you some of you dealing with this person like i said you're not being honest to yourself maybe you've had a feeling that it, this wasn't going to work out you're not happy like i said you've been faking the funk or you're just trying to go through the motions hoping that it will be more than what it is and that's where that self-love comes in spend the quality time with this person so that you can really know that this isn't what you want okay be honest with yourself don't run maybe that this person does that okay be, trust yourself okay we have moving on here too all right so live in the moment having fun think about what is it that makes you feel loved what makes you feel cared for what makes what brings you peace and happiness and, and what role does this person play are they bringing you peace and happiness or are they bringing you conflict and chaos are they bringing you fear and worry all right really use that feelings are real important when making decisions 
and we're not talking about emotional decisions but really following your intuition and how does this make me feel and how does that make me feel we're not talking about basic little mundane physical pleasures no we're talking about internally like do you feel alive do you feel happy do you feel your your authentic truest self do you feel you are at your highest potential with this person is this person helping building you up or are they keeping you stagnant does this person support your dreams and your visions you know things like that are the feelings I'm referring to and if this person doesn't do it for you then that's a sign that it's time to let it go all right so I hope this was the message that you needed to hear until next time many blessings